Palestinian officials say Israeli ground forces are about two miles outside the heart of downtown. They've been steadily advancing as relentless missile strikes reduce much of the area to rubble. With troops now on their doorstep, Palestinians who have remained in the combat zone are now fleeing in droves. And Scripps News just learned John Kirby announced that Israel will begin to implement humanitarian pauses in areas of northern Gaza each day with an announcement to be made three hours beforehand. Uh, Rob, this process is starting today. That's huge news. Yeah. You know, again, the northern part of the country where most of the fierce fighting is happening right now, and you have to believe a lot of that happened because of American right. pressure. So uh, we will continue to keep an eye uh, on that, but that certainly is uh, some progress there on more than one level. In the meantime, negotiations are also reportedly, reportedly underway for a three-day humanitarian ceasefire in Gaza. Sources tell the AP the pause would be aimed at securing the release of about a dozen or more hostages held by Hamas, so just a fraction of the reported 240 still captive. The deal would also allow more desperately needed aid to get into Gaza. The sources say CIA Director Bill Burns, who arrived in the region this week, has been involved in discussions over the possible agreement.